Two murder suspects face a judge for the first time in a case investigators say is filled with twists and turns. Welcome to Coin Local 6 at noon. I'm Amy Troy. Thanks for joining us. The deadly shooting happened earlier this month in Hazeldale. And Coin Local 6 reporter Brent Weisberg has uncovered new details in the case. Both of the suspects made their first court appearance. They did not enter a plea. That is expected to happen in the next couple of weeks. A judge did set bail at $1 million for each suspect. The suspects, Kirk Hernandez Sr. and Daryl Fried, appeared in court for the very first time this morning since their arrest. Investigators say this case even caught them by surprise with its twists and turns now being revealed in new court documents. According to a probable cause document, the victim, Matthew Clark, died on October 1st because of a fight over drugs and guns. The document also says that Kirk Hernandez Sr. went to a home in Battleground on September 24th and stole several guns belonging to a deputy sheriff out of Nevada. Investigators now say that Hernandez Sr. went to the victim's house to sell him those stolen guns. But something happened, investigators say, and the victim ended up stealing the guns. On October 1st, court documents say that Hernandez and his co-defendant, Daryl Fry, went to the victim's home. They were upset, investigators say, over the guns being stolen and a drug debt going unpaid. Matthew Clark died when he was shot. Officials believe Hernandez Sr. is the shooter. A friend of Hernandez Sr. attended today's court hearing and he says he is shocked by the allegations. I just feel bad for both sides of the families, you know, for his family and for the victim's family, you know, it's, I just feel bad, you know. It's drugs that are just taking the life out of people. In an interview with detectives, Daryl Fry says he never went into the house where the victim was killed. Instead, he told investigators that Hernandez Sr. was armed and that he saw four to five shots come from within inside the home. Both suspects will now go before a judge on this case on October 25th. Reporting for you, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin Local 6.